And uh, that's what we're going to discuss now with our panel. Let's bring in Javier Manjaris, the managing editor of the Shark Tank political blog, who joins us from our South Florida newsroom and from Newsmax, New York, the co-host of Steel and Unger on Sirius XM Radio, the one and only Rick Unger. So, gentlemen, as we welcome you back, Rick, your take on this, should the president be moving forward with any type of executive order on immigration? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a really weird question. You have to approach it two different ways, politically and then legally. I think the legal discussion has gone pretty far afield because we do have uh, precedent. We have uh, President George H.W. Bush who did something very similar in, in uniquely similar circumstances. But that's the legal side. Politically, I don't know if it's the best idea. If I were in, in that chair, and thank goodness for all of us, I'm not. If I were in that chair, I think I would issue the executive orders, but I would have them come complete with a stay, saying that they don't take effect for three to four months, giving the new Congress a chance to do something themselves. Hmm, almost the president as a judge yeah. with a stay. Hey, Javier, your take on this. Uh, you know what, <laughs> he's gonna, they're going to come down, executive orders, but there's, there's no way on God's green earth he's going to give this stay, as, as I, and I agree with, with, uh, with Rick if he were to do so. But, you know, he wants to jam this down the Republicans' throats. He wants to show that, look, Republicans are going to counter him on immigration reform and look to help their cause, the Democrat cause in 2016. This is all what it boils down to, nothing more, nothing less. Rick, you... We, you we have to be a little fair. Let, let me just uh, sneak this in. We have to be a little bit fair when we say he's trying to jam it down Republicans' throats. You could make that argument, Javi, when it comes to the Senate, because the Senate did pass a bill. Right. But the House sat on that bill for over a year, so you have to recognize that. And, and, well, and, and, what and Henry Reid sat on how many bills that, land on his, that are still on his desk? No, he did. Can't. I agree. No, no argument there. Right. I'm just saying. Okay. You know, I don't know if you can say he's jamming it down their throat. Well, okay, bro. Uh, the one thing about it, it will have an impact on our wallets and uh, on, on taxpayer resources. And mindful of that, if, if he moves forward with this, Javier, there seems to be concern on the Republican side that once the word shutdown is mentioned in Washington, the press blames it on Republicans and that takes away any benefit of the recent election. Should Republicans... Uh, move to defund parts of the government or at least to try to defund any executive action on this kind of amnesty? Absolutely. Look, if, if they think that it's going to hurt them down the road, it's not. We had the shutdown last year. Did it affect them in this, this election cycle? No, it didn't. So this early on, if there is a shutdown or they do defund big parts of Obama's agenda, it's not going to affect them in 2016 because uh, Americans will realize that the funding is necessary to you know, push back a lot of these, uh, these treacherous and un-American policies that Obama is, is, again, jamming down people's throats. All right, uh, Rick, uh, final 30 seconds on that. It's, you know, how it does make an interesting point. I, you know, we did have a shutdown not that long ago. Everybody thought it would hurt the Republicans, and you know what? Not so much. So it's kind of hard to argue his point. I think, though, that the wisdom among the elders of the Republican Party is this is not the way they want to go into a presidential election. But I hear what he's saying. We all seem to forget. All right, and it's worth noting, not so fast. After all, Congress does control the purse strings, and that dreaded shutdown sure didn't have an impact on the midterms. Obviously, gentlemen, uh, your points of view continue to impact us. In fact, they captivate us. And to that end, we're going to ask you to stay right there as we come back for more with our discussion here on America's Forum. <laughs> 